Cam Cretaceous Season 5 is a little over a month away now and everyone is so excited to see the final season of Cam Cretaceous. A little bit upsetting that it's the final season but everyone is very excited to see it including myself. But everyone's got questions. What is going to happen to them Spinoceratops, Angel and Rebel in the future? Well, I might have the answer to your question. And if you don't want any spoilers for Season 5, I suggest turning this video off now. Right, with that out of the way, let's get straight into it. So hello everybody and welcome to today's video with me Shadows where we're going to be talking about them Spinoceratops in Season 5. The lovely, lovable Angel and Rebel, the hybrids. A lot of people call them Spinosino and said that that's what their names are. Actually that's not, that was just a nickname which Sammy had given them. Their actual canon name is the Spinoceratops which you see on their plaque so remember that. Right, so a lot of people are going to be asking what is going to happen to them at the end of Season 5 and what is going to happen with them Do season five we know the other dinosaur baby dinosaur um, if I believe rightly firecracker was still controlled so what is gonna happen with the Spinoceratops because we know from Dominion there's no hybrids in Dominion now I haven't seen Jurassic World Dominion at this stage so I couldn't tell you if they featured in that but no one has told me they are so what is actually going to happen to them at the end of season five because these are hybrid dinosaurs and they are very very different to every dinosaur out there so what is going to happen to them you know we know the events of season 5 are taking place at the 2015-2016 uh, and we know Manticorp are going to dismantle at the end of the season so what's going to happen to all the dinosaurs for that matter and these hybrid dinosaurs so my thoughts are that obviously they're still very they're, they're juvenile dinosaurs so they're going to need to be looked after they're going to need to go to some type of sanctuary and they're going to need some type of closure at the end of this season there has to be some type of closure for the camera and for every animal and dinosaur on that facility in that facility sorry which Manticorp holds there has to be some type of resolution unless they plan on leaving it open-ended for season 5 which I doubt we do know that the original ending for Jurassic World Dominion is now the ending for Camp Cretaceous season 5 so whatever that ending is means that it's gonna happen to all these animals so does that mean that they're gonna be out in the wild living their own life and happily live ever ever after i don't really know because these events are still prior to the events of fallen kingdom so 2016 fallen kingdom takes place in 2018 and that's when all the dinosaurs are released onto the mainland now we could obviously see one or two dinosaurs on the mainland way before this because of poaching and people getting their hands on dna so is it now that the end of 2016 when manticorps gets dismantled the two hybrid dinosaurs get taken to a sanctuary somewhere or maybe just left on their own to fend for themselves. I highly doubt that's likely, but maybe they get taken to some type of sanctuary. Maybe they get taken to the Biosang Sanctuary seen in Dominion, but they're not actually featured in Dominion. I think that would be a good end into their story that they get taken somewhere and looked after although we know Biosen isn't really looking after their dinosaurs again guys I haven't seen Dominion so I would love to see Dominion and talk about all the theories and the linkage but I I, I don't get to see it until the 10th of June which is absolutely devastating for me and I'm not going to travel the world to go and see I'm just going to wait like everyone else and watch it on the 10th but I do think the Spinoceratops Angel and Rebel will have some type of closure maybe taken like I said to some facility and looked after properly because obviously they can't be left out in the wild they're only juveniles unless they somehow get integrated into a herd of some sort maybe they get integrated into the herds because we do see them respond to certain calls via that pad if you remember rightly where they were trying to soothe them and stop them from calling they were using that pad and mimicking calls of other dinosaurs I can't remember what the dinosaurs were was it the Sinoceratops I think is one of their DNAs and I think potentially they could get taken into a herd there and maybe they could live out their lives in a herd on the mainland uh, although it would create timeline problems because again this is prior to fallen kingdom where there isn't really any dinosaurs on the mainland so what would they do with all these dinosaurs on this island where are they gonna put them where are they gonna take them the only explanation is they take them to a sanctuary and the only known sanctuary we have at this stage is Biosen and we know Biosen would be collecting dinosaurs well before its exposure in 2022 and 
obviously 2018 so we know they'd be collecting dinosaurs for their their scientific experiments and their experimentation and trying to make the world a better place by taking their DNA and creating all kinds of cures is what they say but the reality is I think they're obviously making and abusing these dinosaurs for military purposes can they be repurposed into other stuff testing on them and we know that's going to happen and that the question is what is happening with these spinoceratops the most likely answer like i just said is they're going to be taken to a sanctuary somewhere or they're going to stay with some type of herd the original type of herds and, and looked after that way because the campers obviously can't keep them same with firecracker but and, and, and bumpy etc they can't be kept you know are we going to see bumpy uh in season five and we know in um in season three bumpy was with her herd etc so is that what's gonna happen with the spinoceratops i'd like to think so because they need a happy ending and we know like i said season five is very much going to be the end of that story so everything has to have some type of closure and ending otherwise it's not going to make sense and it'll be left open unless they do want to leave some things open so they could potentially make some um series on it in the future although i think that's going to be unlikely i think they will close the story off and and try and link it into other things in the future but what do you guys think please let me know i'd love to know your thoughts have you got any theories which would wrap up the spinoceratops maybe you've got something i've missed maybe you know something which i have missed please tell me in the comments i read every comment and i reply to nearly every comment so if you comment i'm definitely going to read it and i would love to know what you think is going to happen with angel and rebel like i said i think they're just gonna go off um and live a happy life somewhere either with a herd or be taken to a sanctuary but that but that's my thoughts and feelings and who knows who really really knows at this stage until it gets released on july the 21st maybe it will link into dominion somehow and if you want to know how all these intricacies and everything is going to link up i've got plenty of videos on that on the channel especially about potentially the endoraptor the giganotosaurus all these are playing in to camp cretaceous and we know the linkage is there and like i said especially as we know the original dominion ending is now going to be the camp cretaceous season five ending and it, it poses so so many questions for season five i for one are really excited to see how they finish the season off anyway i'm rambling if you did enjoy this video don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to subscribe for more content do it now hit that subscribe button it's free it doesn't cost you anything hit it now do it good glad you did it don't forget to check out my patreon because my patreons help support and make these videos so thank my patreons very much and thank you very much for watching don't forget to check out my merch shop i'm shadows and i'll see you guys in the next one cheers thanks and bye bye now